That Still Blows My Mind by Patricia Love, Chapter 6, From Addiction. I had been in church all day. We had attended three services. I gave my heart to the Lord during the first service. After the last service, my next door neighbor brought me home. I hadn't had a cigarette all day. For those who can't stop smoking, check this out. As soon as I entered the house, I wanted a cigarette like never before. I thought, what is this about? I knew I had a two-pack-a-day cigarette habit. But this was not a normal craving. I never wanted a cigarette like I did this night. I never wanted a cigarette like that before. The desire was so intense. I started to become quite suspicious. I remembered the pastor talking about how desires can come on you through demons with a vengeance, tempting you to give in to the very thing you're trying so hard not to do. I tried to rationalize what I wanted to do. I hoped God would understand. I said to him, it doesn't say in the Bible, thou shalt not smoke. <clears throat> then these words came to my mind immediately, saying, your body is the temple of God. I know I lost that argument. Okay. I really wanted to smoke and I was negotiating big time. After all, I had been smoking for 15 years, and I never could quit on my own before. Finally, I said to God, if you really don't want me to smoke, I mean, <coughs> excuse me, really don't want me to smoke, please show me. I'm going to try something I heard the ladies say at church. They would say these words when they pray. Now, if this doesn't work, I'm going to smoke. Well, I was being honest. Then I said to him, if this does work, I'll know. You really don't want me to smoke. I was full of apprehension, not faith. I picked up my full pack of cigarettes knowing full well that my money was funny and my change was strange. I wasn't going to be able to buy any more smokes that night if I tried because the stores were closed. I shut my eyes tight. I thought about the agony that was awaiting me throughout that night. I just knew I was going to be suffering all night long. I took the pack in my hand. Using the church lady's words, I said fearfully, I rebuke the desire for these cigarettes in the name of Jesus. <sighs> While saying these words, I tore up the pack and dropped all the fragments into wet trash so that I wouldn't be able to retrieve any of the tobacco. You see, I had zigzags in the house. I knew that I could have rolled them back up and smoked. I didn't want to play games with God or me. I just did what I knew to do the only way I could think of in order to fight the temptation and win. Even if it was going to hurt all night long. At the exact moment, at the exact same moment, mind you, that the fragments left my hand, I felt a pressure leave my chest as if something I didn't even know was there had just lifted its weight off of me. It was quite a physical experience. The amazing part was, as soon as it lifted, the desire to smoke cigarettes was gone. 
I was so surprised that it was that easy and that fast. Not only was my own willpower not enough, it wasn't even anywhere in that equation. It just I just made up my mind. God gave me the power to do what I was powerless to do on my own. I never had a craving like that since. Let me make this perfectly clear. For the record, I was supernaturally delivered from a spirit of addiction. The battle was won because of God. I was freed in an instant because I resisted using the name of Jesus. Just do your best. Jesus will do the rest. Whatever he asks of you, he will empower and enable you to do. Then you will be able to do what does not come natural for you because God is supernatural. <laughs>